You're early. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different. Awkward, yeah, I, I guess. just came back in from feeding the animals. Feeding the goats. And all that stuff. Goats and chickens. Cats. Bring water. Twenty two below centigrade here. So do your conversion. Yeah, I have to type that in and can't do it in my head. Um I I woke up today at like four in the morning and I you know, turned on the news, see what was going on. And I was kind of um, not surprised, but I guess just the timing, the stuff that I'm seeing on the news, right? The he- I actually took notes, Glenn. I took yeah. notes, and I, and and these were the developing stories on CNN, the way they were presenting them. One story was northeast railing from winter storm, icing on roads, creates dangerous conditions. Another mm-hmm. one was Mi- Michigan soccer dome collapses, heavy wet snow prompts failure. Another one was snowstorm. Snowstorm causes more canceled flights. Airlines face backlog from back-to-back storms, and these are like record-breaking storms. They say. Mm-hmm. Another one was measles outbreak continues to spread now to 102 cases in 14 states, most linked to Disneyland. Uh, one of the cases is a New York college student. The college student got on MT- got on an uh, Amtrak train from Penn Station in New York City, and uh, they are saying that there's concern as the students spread measles, and and it's because of things like it's a disease that's highly contagious. But all of that stuff to me, Glenn, was kind of saying they wanted people to kind of be seated and don't go anywhere, just be stuck in an area, and well. All that stuff you said. Hmm? Major title to what is going on right now is going back in time. Going back in time begins now, and the end of the journey is the reassembly of a male female hermaphrodite. That's where it all began, the journey of going forward by the splitting away of genders out of the female to female male, walking side by side. Now the journey ends and a reversal must take place prior to the exploration in space by a female-looking hermaphrodite that carries a Trojan male hidden within her own body. If you watched the Super Bowl, you would have seen the woman dancing in the stars. She was raised up on a pendulum and the stars in the background. Basically, the journey they were describing. Mm. When she came out to do the show, she was riding piggyback on a tiger. So, When tigers start to move, the process goes back in time to when he used to play golf properly. Now, he started off uh, at the Waste Management Golf Tournament in California. Waste Management, Aster, is the 
Latin word for star, asteroid, waste, take away the W, and you're left with A-S-T-E. Management, man, G-E. Genetically engineered. The final part is ten. Perfect woman is a ten. That's a woman that contains the mechanisms of a male. Serena Williams won the tournament, tennis tournament in Australia. She's about six two and has shoulders basically like a middle linebacker in football. He would be a physical model of, of what they're talking about. Tiger would be a model for consistency of play. Now, if one thing is certain for the last six plus years, he's been totally inconsistent after having been consistent all of his life up to that day. When he played in the waste management tournament, which is the first one, and we know that number one doesn't count, it's cosmetic, number two is where you start. In number one, he missed the cut by coming in last in a field of 132 players. One, two, three, go. Mm. Left for home. Now he comes back to play this week on Thursday at a golf club called Torrey Pines. Torrey is, of course, the word for Trojan or Troy, although it's spelt differently. It doesn't matter because it's a Phoenician phonetic that matters. Mm-hmm why the phone company is so important at the top of it all. AT&T in the U.S. Ori Pines has the word pines. Well, we know that in the world of trees, a deciduous tree cannot grow unless it's provided some cover from wind and snow and storms. And the cover is pine trees. Seed of pine trees are cones. Come out like a volcano out of the ground. They are the Christmas tree that has all the beads and baubles on it. But their real function, as with the spine, pines being coniferous trees can withstand wind and rain and snow in a manner that deciduous trees you depend on leaves at the end of a twig cannot. So the spine suggests the beginning of humans and other animals. The uh, pine preceded them in the world of trees. Now, trees are linked to the word three, which when written down appears sideways like a pair of breasts. 
like the letter, capital letter E, mm -hmm. must be genetically engineered based upon the fact that the tree was the first plant that developed memory. And a breast, of course, is centered on a mammary nipple. In other words, the mammary is the storage site for memory in human beings. That's why males have them, too. Mammary consists of a number of glands which, when activated, cause certain activities in the body to occur. can be affected by a magnetic field. Create a cluster of glands and you destroy their independent capability. That's how the world was viewed by the founders of voodoo, that you must be able to control from a distance. The only way you can do that, knowing physics, is through magnetism. Magnet is not a uh, hurtful uh, product since the earth is basically a magnet on its own. But the minute you add an electrical circuit to the magnet, you double its magnetism. And that attracts the glands and forces them into a cluster. Nuns operate their genetic engineering labs in monasteries where they have many levels, just like the rings of a tree, called a cloister. And their genetic engineering happens on the inside cloister, surrounded by a number of cloisters like rings on a tree. They hold the keys to the memory of the planet, which, of course, they stole from the archives built up by priests, such uh, was the case before the Ice Age, when voodoo was proposed as a religion that could control from a distance. The nuns of voodoo, mother's superior, are what is the derivative of the original woman, a hermaphroditic woman, called a fat her. Father is just a play on words. The real controlling interest is a hermaphroditic woman who has within her own body the, the ability to impregnate herself. Very much needed at the beginning of mankind since Males would have been genetically, or not gen yeah, well, genetically, normal genetics of nature would have created a male in one place and a female in a different place. More than likely, the first male were born in the Balkans, northern Europe or the females were created in Africa. And not being together, they could not copulate 
and therefore had to form a temporary system. That was the advent of a uh, clone structure making females that were copies of the original mother. From then on, you had to wait for the time when females went north and males went south, meeting at a place one would suggest is the Black Sea today. They decided to copulate and found that it was a better system for the time envisaged ahead, which would be working on a project to lead them to outer space. So, uh, with the with the copulation in the beginning, when it was uh, the females who couldn't copulate and the males on the other side, um, did they use to co for, to create these clones? Did they use the women from East Africa, or did they somehow impregnate the women who couldn't give birth? How did it they? It appears to me that a group of women who could not clone themselves would have been kind of outcast in the system and were the most likely to walk away from the existing group, probably centered on... Uh, West Africa, East Africa, or East Africa, along the Nile Valley leading into the mountains at, at the uh, beginning of the White Nile in those mountains, the Females who could clone extended themselves, take up much of that space around Mount Kilimanjaro, and the females who couldn't uh, clone themselves went north. In, uh, in the north, there are signs that suggest that an avalanche basically awaken the Neanderthaler to the concept that uh, he could live longer through creating a child if only he knew how to convert himself into a separate youngster. And working on that concept, an avalanche took out thousands of Neanderthalers. And they became the focus of an industry. How do you take a person who is dead but not quite dead out of an avalanche heat it up, and let it walk again. And, of course, they found out that as soon as the body w died, it basic body thawed out, it died. They had to come up with a system to basically make it possible for themselves to live longer. When the women came around and copulation occurred, they saw this as a temporary solution. 
and they began to make children together. At one stage of the game, understanding the process of birth, requiring um, an amniotic fluid, requiring um, sperm, requiring an egg, and requiring a um, kickstart, as you would with a frozen car. They, uh, they began to say, hey, we can do this on our own. We don't need to be sharing it with women. Let's get rid of them. And they planned uh, a flood into what was at the time a major valley in uh, north of what is now Turkey, the Black Sea, and broke the Bosphorus and let the water run in. But the women got wind of what was going on and got out of there and moved down closer to Syria across what is today's Turkey, leaving the spot um, in, in the Black Sea open where the battle is going on now by the Russians who want control of that space, a place called Ukraine, UK Reign. So the two of them grasped the possibilities of making children on their own and what they needed and formed monasteries. Monasteries for males, monasteries for females, each working on their separate concepts. Males are basically task-oriented and once their task is complete, they get bored with the idea and move on to something else. Females are task-oriented in archiving all of the knowledge known. So there was a seepage away from the male knowledge to the female knowledge. And that became apparent during the time of the Crusades, where males went off to fight wars and females were left behind, always afraid that those people who didn't go away or those men who came back were looking for females and needed a defense mechanism, and they finally agreed to merge in what was known as a dual monastery, something as if you were looking at two breasts, each one being a nurturer on its own, each one having a system for making children on their sharing tasks in the middle. Female more the interior task, the male more the exterior task, and while the males are away, pilfering of the archive goes on and, and females get the advantage. When they come back to Europe, the uh, males are into banking and and uh, hotel keeping and that kind of stuff for travelers, while the females are more into education and and nursing and that kind of stuff. So it's it's a evolutionary process created by creation through an evolutionary process called chance, 
given sufficient time and the proper materials, male and female could be created out of what came delivered to this planet by asteroids, different chemicals, different minerals, and at one stage of the game, as luck would have it, they would merge into making a single male unable to procreate but able to live a long life, 900 years or so, um, and a female who could procreate but had nobody to procreate with. These are accidental coming together of the proper uh, ingredients in a system called evolution. Evolution is a very slow process over a long time, which makes a gigantic leap all of a sudden. A cataclysmic event generates that leap, and an asteroid is such a leap. Well, before the Ice Age, these communities, small in numbers, but long in time, developed the concepts that in order to verify a truth, you must do it through the repetition of experiments under all kinds of different conditions in, in weather, in geography, in uh, possibilities. In, in finance, there is a law called trying to think of the exact wording now, the theory of, uh, I think it's the theory of possibilities or something like that, which basically is the basis of insurance companies. Mm -hmm. They determine how long people will most likely live what they're doing as a lifestyle will determine uh, how long or short that period of time is. Uh, they lend money based upon that, and that's the part learned by men, whereas women have a much longer project if Evolution requires certain products that did not exist on the planet and then came to the planet by means of an asteroid. Doesn't it now make sense that if you want to go faster in your development that you don't wait for the accident to occur, you go out and retrieve what you need right away. And in order to do that, you need a hermaphrodite because it's too expensive to send a colony outside the planet if you, all they're doing is exploring an asteroid to find out exactly what's there. You can do it mechanically by sending a rocket and, and a rover, but it's very limited. A human being guided from uh, head office on the Earth is much more practical. That human being has to be in a position to regenerate itself. Well, 
we know that the Egyptians were working on the process. We know they found some answers. We know that the Crusades were done in the world of the Middle East where the people who had, in fact, worked in the labs in Egypt had migrated to. And we know that uh, the word Moses comes from Tutmosis. Tutmosis was an Egyptian pharaoh. And therefore... If you look at the story of the 18th dynasty, it basically explains how a group came from Syria looking for what answers Egypt had developed in the world of genetic engineering, created another religion called Aten, perfect woman is a female male held together by technology the capital letter A and then the number 10 uh, 10. they under the guise of creating a new religion stole what the Egyptians had called uh, men men only were in charge and they took it out of Egypt, and Moses led the man into the wilderness for 40 years while his wife, a descendant of Sarai a thousand years before, went to a place and called it Sarai or Isra by changing the letters around and adding le in front to make it male, female, male participle. Male um, is in the letter E as opposed to A. And if you look at many of the old um, writings, and they and me are joined together. You can find a lot of that in Masonic cemeteries. Yeah, they, they call them diphthongs or dip, in, diphthongs? In typesetting. Yeah. So the rule now is the female's been developed. Female used to be a number nine and a male a number eight. The female has been developed and modified into a number six. In other words, it's uh, transubstantiated. What you see appears to be no different than what used to be. But it, in fact, is transubstantiated, which basically means uh, it is it has been affected and acts differently than the original without showing any outward appearance of the change. That was done through genetic engineering. The day they completed the project, number nine, Pluto, was demoted. Just another stone in the sky and not a planet. Now the attention turns to male. And through the activities of electromagnetic fields, they are able to affect the glands of a male to the level where it disrupts the um, possibility of copulation. And in order to 
test it, they made drugs called Cialis or Viagra, mm-hmm. and they've been able to confirm that what they did caused the problem and a reversal of the problem can be achieved by certain chemistry. Although that chemistry has a lot of uh, byproducts uh, that can affect the person in many different ways, especially in depression, mental uh, illnesses, which require uh, permanent care, such as Alzheimer's. Something that many more families will have to live with shortly. What we're seeing is a reversal in time, and all the hands are pointing the finger that we're going back in time. Now, to go back in time, you've got to take a guy like Tiger Woods and make him able to play the way he used to play. You've got to take um, women and, and make them leaders of uh, countries instead of leaders of families or caretakers in a family home. And because that's what clan mothers used to do. They they led the clan. They were the judges. They were the politicians, if you will. They basically held court at night and made decisions that affected the clan's direction. Well, we're getting ready to see the election of a woman as president of the United States. You have women as presidents of minor countries all over the world now. That's because that female, unbeknownst to her, has a male inside. At least the product of a male sperm that can, in fact, eventually be used to make her into a hermaphrodite. But by looking at what men do, women begin to follow the lead and take over lead. Man is like a number one. It's a cosmetic person used for learning. Female in appearance is the obvious end product. Transubstantiated female. That's the story of Jesus and the Last Supper saying this bread has been transubstantiated into me. Mm. It still looks like bread, but it is my body. This wine has been transubstantiated into my blood. It still looks like (laughs) wine, but it really is me. And, of course, Jesus Christ is not a single person, but a gene pool of Caucasians. And at the end of the experiment, what happened to Jesus? He is crucified and is removed for a period of time. When he then reappears as a spirit. In other words, he goes down to the Moho discontinuity, 
joins the clan of Neanderthalers that occupy that space since 24,000 B.C., is sent out to make occasional appearances to help the plan along. Uses the knowledge that women collected and their role is subsurface as opposed to Moho discontinuity. Subsurface means that they do the genetic engineering. They live in a cloister within a cloister within a cloister within a cloister and make human beings at this period in time uh, as sleeper cells. Just like Vic Taves. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Vic Taves was made by the Nazis who moved to South America Mm -hmm. in Paraguay. To a Mennonite family who lived in Manitoba at that time. And then came back to Canada to end up being the cabinet minister responsible for public safety. Now, that's the same kind of activity they had done at the beginning to make royal families. Mm. Dick Taves, however, and royal families in a democratic society don't get their way because there has to be a pretense in a democratic society that people are in charge. And most of the genetic engineering, by far, is now done at the other end of the control system that operates in democracies. In other words, they are called clerks. Clerks are the range of tasks that cause the power system to have to deal with public. The public is is basically unaware that when they approach their government, they can never speak to power because the only people that will speak to them representing the government are sleeper cells. And they are sleeper cells for Nazis. The original word Nazi is N-A-T-S-I. As in Pakistan, Afghanistan, Uzbekistan. But more secret than that, Puritans. Uh-huh. Novations. Nova. Asian. From Asia, if you write the word Air Asia and read the letters in Air Asia, you'll find the word Sarai, hidden, the Trojan horse. That's why we've had a disappearing airplane and another one that crashed. (laughs) 
and a third one that was shot down. All flown by men. Did you catch the um the Rose Bowl parade this year by chance? Yeah. I thought it was the um, most perfect example that one could think of a very evenly divided tournament if you can call a football game a tournament, each one with their chance of success, scoring seven points, making it 14, making it 14-7, making it 14-14, all of the use of the number seven, until you arrive at a point where one team has 28 points and the other one has 24 points and there's only four and a half minutes left to play in the game and how in the hell does an electromagnetic system allow a ball that was to be caught pop up in the air and bounce three times across a person's body before he catches it on the four-yard line. And how in the hell does a guy who gets down to the one-yard line then decide to throw a pass? as the coach informed his quarterback to do. When you're on the one-yard line and you have the best rusher on your team who is known for his ability and you got at least two or three shots at getting the one yard, the runner, why would you throw a pass? Without a knowledge in these people of what we've just talked about, mm -hmm. they have no way of knowing that it was anything but a mistake. They have no way of knowing that every decision they made in that football game, as they do in any sport, was predetermined for them and assisted by a magnetic field. You know, um, it's interesting. I was watching a piece on CNN about uh, before the Super Bowl. It was like a pre-Super Bowl thing, and they were interviewing uh, the coach for the, I guess, the, the Seafield, uh, no, the Hawks. Something the Hawks. Hawks. Yeah, the Seahawks. And uh, the interviewer um, brought up that, this coach was different from all the other coaches. Some were even calling him like a new age coach because he incorporated yoga, meditation into the practice, into the training of the the, 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 the athletes. And I, you know, I thought about that. You know how in meditation they use certain type of technologies yeah. to control people. So. You know. People think they're meditating when, in fact, they're being programmed. <laughs> Genetic yeah. engineering began at least in 58,000 B.C. At least in 58,000 B.C. Trees began their journey of learning about memory at least in 80,000 B.C. Not, not 80,000. 81 million 
BC. Eighty million years ago. Human beings began to consider uh, sleeping together at a period sometimes around 80,000 B.C. Okay. Memory in a tree is very valuable, and you'll have read, I'm sure, or seen stories written about how scientists are now preparing uh, to uh, link trees by a wireless system so that what's happening to one tree can be compared to what's happening in another tree. Mm. And therefore, they can read the path of a change in, in weather patterns that is occurring by simply reading what is affecting one tree as opposed to affecting a tree 100 yards away. They would know exactly how the tree is reacting because what the tree is doing is shaping its memory ring for that year. Hmm. Well, the problem that you have with memory in a tree is it's only measuring one place on Earth. And therefore, evolution says what you need is a walking tree. A walking tree would measure different places. Human beings are the walking tree. They are called RIM, Research in Motion. Now, creation through cellular memory, called the cell, told me that the introduction of sleeper cells into democratic societies began in 1789. Hmm. That Top-down management would not survive in the future unless a change to an appearance of democracy invented by Greeks many years ago. Not an accident that Greece announced today that they are going back in time that they're not going to be ruled by a European oligarchy who tells them what to do and live in poverty so that they can pay the bankers. But the minute that concept came about in 1789, for it to occur, they had to get rid of the existing hierarchy visible hierarchy, because there's always the hidden control mechanism. And they had the French Revolution, chopped off the heads, sent it to the lab, studied what genetic uh, powers that person represented, and began to write a formula for different traits. If you take this piece, considering that you're dealing with 23 chromosomes and about uh, 144 genetic instructions and 3 billion sub-instructions for tweeting something, one side or the other of the same argument type of thing, with that as knowledge, they formed a database and put it in the hands of Israelis who had moved to Europe. 
called Germans, Frenchmen, Spaniards, Portuguese, Dutch, Belgian, Scandinavian, each being genetic pools sent out in 586 B.C. When they got all of that stuff analyzed, they knew that they could build a worker population, population they called yes, as opposed to a population they called no. In, in royalties in the past, kings constantly got requests and learn to say no, 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 no. Now you have to have a population who would work and do things following a written set of instructions, even though it didn't always make much sense. That's why you find it difficult for bureaucrats to have common sense. They were manufactured as yes people and given the task of being the lower rank of government, they prevent access by the rest of the people who are not in government to the people who control government and feed only the information they need for their system to function properly to the leaders who, in fact, don't have the knowledge they need to make decisions, only have knowledge that, in fact, will help the secret third party unknown to them. And creation through the cell said, now that this system has been put in place in North America, now that the task of getting into outer space was completed by the flight of two spacecraft in 1977 that has entered the Earth cloud, now that the task of North America started in 1776 in the U.S., 1867 in Canada, if you believe that they had no importance, whereas in fact they were genetically engineering babies since the 1500s when uh, Jacques Cartier came on his second voyage, accompanied by Jean Chabot, who was the financier of genetic engineering in France. They began to make babies place those babies in what is now Nova Scotia or otherwise known as Acadia. And then when they saw that they had what they wanted, but not the final product, it needed some tweaking, they shipped them out to the U.S. and most of them landed in New Orleans called today Cajuns. While the formula was tweaked somewhat, and the next batch were called Quebecers. And Scotsmen were brought in from the tweaking they had done in the British Isles and put in Nova Scotia, where the Acadians used to live. And from Quebec, they began to create the genetic engineering population of North America. And to make it uh, appear as if it was an American system, they wrote Johnny Appleseed, the Bible and the seed. So brainwash the head through the genetic engineering of the seed. And they m moved out of the area of Montreal, their operation to Ottawa and then to New York State. And 
New York, York, comes from the word Troy, the mission of Troy, York. The K stands for mission. These people, like how they do... Y-O-R. Troy. Yeah, they have Troy in um, upstate New York. There's a place called Troy. Yeah. So, like, these people who, um, like, they just create, like, I, I, I saw a movie a while ago about, you know, they were talking about gangs and uh, like, uh, really notable gangs and, and Hell's Kitchen, Irish, like, mafia. Like, they call a place like this, for example, Hell's Kitchen, right? And they, what they just create, like, I guess, I don't know, uh, psychopaths or something, sociopaths, and they put them in Hell's Kitchen and cook them up or something and put them there, place them there to live. You know, well, and they go on to create havoc. I mean, the, the story that we have just touched upon mm -hmm. and probably took the better part of an hour, which means i got to get up and do it. <laughs> uh, that's a story that requires much more time than is available on a phone call. Yeah. It has to be done piece by piece and can only be done if people choose to come here and participate here and learn by osmosis over time because it takes a while to get the concept clear in one's head and and that cannot happen on the phone, cannot happen uh, in a book. It has to be done over time. So Sal said, what you need to do is recreate a temple, a hospital, a um, school, and, and all of those things you would find if you went to Jerusalem, the Temple Mount, but recreate it with a difference. We'll give you the instructions. You need to make a call out. And those people who have a functioning brain will understand what you're talking about and come. Those who don't, which is the vast majority, will laugh at the possibility. For those who come, there will be an explanation given to everything that one might have as a question over time. Mm. And at the end of that teaching lesson, the group will be divided in two. One group that will stay behind and run this temple place, which they call Bionok. 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 B-I-O-C-H. Bionok. Bioc, instead of Enoch. Hmm. Enoch did it at the beginning of the conversion to the number of people required to do the testing going from millions to billions. Enoch did that at a period sometime in the vicinity of 700 B.C. Seven hundred years after Adam, story used in the Bible. And he did it by demonstrating a meeting with God, the genetic
genetic engineer, followed by the lifespan of his son being 900 and some years, followed by the genetic engineering of a population based upon the children of Abraham, which in fact involved his Abraham's wife, Sarai, which is the basis of the word Israel. And Puritans. NATSI, Pakistan, is a cut out piece of India. And it's extension into Islam is an extension of the power of the Buddhist out of India on the other side. This buds for you is talking about a seed. Buddhism is the seed that came out of India <laughs> followed by an other seed genetically modified that came out of India in a region we now call Pakistan. But the promised land could never be number one, could never be number two, has to be linked to nurturing. And Nurturing, the symbol of nurturing is the number three, which is linked to the tree in, in its phonetics and breath in its pictogram. That means here is the site of the third temple. And it's got to happen soon. Because there's going to be a division away from this universe to a new universe by the people who have maintained their original ability to have common sin. Not complicated. It's just a long time to explain. Because it started 80 some million years ago with the advent of the tree. Long time ago for the dinosaur. Dinosaurs part of the lesson. Dinosaur is big. Well, big is not necessarily better if the brain doesn't function properly. Intelligence is useless for anything but task orientation. Smart. Is how rats work. Rats develop the systems for discovery on Earth. Dinosaur could not squeeze through cracks in the underground rock to get from cave to cave. A rat could. Rats begat bats in a cave. Rats begat cats surface. 
wild cats like tigers and lions and lynx and all of the other versions that exist. But tame cats entered the house and began to live, teach people, not yeah. the other way around. <laughs> exactly. The brain caught on and worked properly until a governor took power, hid away from the people, pretended to be a male, called himself God, which is dog, supposedly the enemy of cats. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go now. Okay, Glenn. Bye for now. Nope. Thank you.